What's up, you guys? It's Steph Hendel. I am here. Uh, thanks for joining me, number one. And number two, uh, this video went out like three times. So final attempt. I got some great information for you that I want to deliver. So I'm doing whatever it takes. I'm back in the apartment and the Wi-Fi is strong. So, okay, here's what came up for me in my video that I made yesterday. I realized just how many questions I'm getting consistently asked about weight loss, right? So I decided I'm gonna make a video for you about, oh look, you can see me back there. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna make a video for you about how you can lose weight um, and it's gonna be on the question that I'm asked the most, right? The most common question that I get as a weight loss coach. So here to deliver some bomb ass information. Ready? Let's do this. Okay, so the question that I get consistently is, is it possible, right? Not even how, but is it possible for somebody with a really busy schedule and a really abnormal schedule to lose weight and keep it off sustainably? The answer that I have for you is a 100% heaven yes, heaven yes, that's a, that's a yes to the millionth degree, right? So not only can I show you this in my own personal transformation, but I can show you in this, this in the transformation of a lot of the clients that I've worked with. So um, you might be finding yourself in a job that has you doing um, dinners with clients, or maybe you are somebody who built up your business and your finances and your success level to the point where you can actually just go out and truly enjoy and have a lot of fun in your life having beautiful meals. And maybe that's something that gets you really excited because that's something that gets me really excited. I love eating good food. And one of my favorite things in the world is going out to eat with the people I love. I love going out to eat with my friends. I love going out to eat with my family. I love going out to eat with Josh. That's the best. But Josh is my husband, if you don't know who he is. Um, we have the best time going out to get food, trying new foods, right? So. I have this really high standard that the food's got to taste really good and it's got to be fun and I can't be restricting myself. I don't want to restrict myself. So um, to answer your question, yes. And I am personally have a very abnormal schedule. Um, you might find me in <laughs> various places throughout the day with the schedule that's very unpredictable. And um, I like to travel, I like to adventure. So if that's you, you're a traveler, you're an adventurer, um, or you're just super busy in your job and um, you have a, a schedule that's just all over the place. You go a lot of client dinners, you do a lot of stuff like that. Um, maybe your business is centered around you taking people out to dinner. So here's my response is I'm gonna give you three ways for you to apply this, to apply this big yes to it being easy to not only lose weight and be in a body that you feel great in, you love how you feel in clothes, you love how you show up in front of people, and you just feel confident, and you just feel good, and you feel like you can take your business and your relationships and everything to the next level because you just feel good and you just feel healthy. Um, to, in order to do that, even with a very busy schedule of like an online entrepreneur or a business owner or a high level executive or whatever you may do, three steps. Number one, here's the first one. Here's the first one to put into place immediately. It's mindset. We talked about that yesterday. And I'll go a little bit more in depth on exactly how to do this in a minute. But number one is mindset. You gotta get yourself into a place where you want to choose the healthy thing, not because you have to, truly because you want to. And that makes a big difference to want to instead of feel like you have to. So number one is shift your mindset, shift your beliefs, shift your paradigms into a space where you're like pumped and motivated to eat something that's going to truly nourish you because your body is the vehicle to your purpose, right? That's one mindset shift of many that I can teach you. Um, the mindset shift is your body's a vehicle for your purpose. When you start to think about it like that and you're like, yeah, I got a real purpose here. I got stuff to do on planet earth. Then you're like, whoa, I got to take care of this thing. I got to nourish this. I got to make myself as healthy and, and, um, and take care of myself and as energized as I can possibly be. So you shift into a mindset where that's number one priority. Then in that space, you are 
are super motivated to eat the healthy choice, to uh, do the workout, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a long workout, by the way. It can be very short. Number two, when you're in that space where you want to make the healthier choice, you gotta know what to choose. So it's not as simple as just like, pick the thing on the menu that says, it's the healthy version or the low calorie thing. It's not that, it's, no, you gotta know exactly what to eat. We'll talk about that in a second too. Number three, third and final thing here is you gotta know that you don't have to restrict yourself, right? You don't have to say no to foods you want. This is a part of truly being healthy. So you don't have to never eat something delicious again because it's unhealthy. You can have that stuff. I eat that stuff all the time. I love actually enjoying and trying new foods, healthy or not. But you gotta have the checks and balances system, right? So you can't always just be withdrawing. And by withdrawing, I mean eating unhealthy things. You gotta have a balance. So instead of just always eating unhealthy, um, if you know you're gonna have a dinner that might not be the healthiest thing in the world, then breakfast and lunch, boom, they're taken care of. They're healthy meals. They're things that are good for you, gonna nourish your body, you're gonna feel really great. Because you know that if you just keep taking money out of the bank account, you're gonna get to a balance that's zero. And a balance that's zero is you feeling unhealthy, not feeling good in your body, not feeling your best, not feeling confident, not feeling like you can show up how you wanna show up in the world, and in business, in life. Um, so you wanna always be adding things into your bank account, which would be healthy meals. Log some healthy meals in there, um, if you're gonna have an unhealthy meal, keep it at even balance, right? So those are your three things. And uh, I told you I'd tell you a little bit about how to do that. So number one, how to um, take our first step, which is shift your mindset. You gotta adopt a new paradigm. You gotta choose, actively choose to adopt a new paradigm. And a new paradigm for me um, was that I need to again, have a, my body being my vehicle to my purpose. And then I use this thing called the food mood guide. Um, and this is a series of something that you do over the course of five days and you notice how food makes you feel. So um, we make decisions, especially about food, based off of what's gonna bring us the most joy and avoid the most pain. So um, if the joyful thing is eat the unhealthy food, you're always gonna pick that. But if the joyful thing becomes choose the healthy food, then you're gonna pick that one. And there's a simple system to do that and it's just shifting and noticing how you feel after you eat because most people never do this. Most people never take note to how they actually feel after they eat something, right? So doing the food mood guide, that's how you do that. You notice how you feel when you eat something unhealthy and you start to associate a bad feeling to it instead of a good one. So you do food mood for not, in answer to number one. Number two, um, knowing what's truly healthy to eat. It's like knowing what to pick on the menu. So for me, when I'm going out, if I'm truly, like I just wanna nourish myself and there's no healthy choices, then yeah, maybe I'm just gonna get something that's, um, you know, like just, uh, chicken and broccoli, right? Sides are your friend. Get veggie sides, enjoy them. Um, and also, oh, it's Josh. Flipping it around so you can see. Oh man, yeah, there he is. <laughs> so you know what you eat when you're out. Sides are amazing. Um, we can talk more about that. Uh, I don't wanna keep you on too long. I know it's Friday, you wanna have some fun. Um, and number three, we'll go right into is, um, enjoying yourself, right? So that's what I talked about, your checks and your balances, making sure that you're balanced and you have enough meals like that. So for me personally, what I do is, as I said, I love to go out to dinner and I don't always pick the healthiest food. I wanna try stuff, I wanna try cool foods, I wanna try something new. So um, when I'm going out, I make sure that breakfast and lunch is on lockdown, right? Breakfast and lunch, done, good, logged, feeling really good got my workout in, feeling amazing, feeling nourished, um, and the majority of my meal will be pretty healthy, but if I wanna try something that's not so healthy for me, um, boom, I'm trying it, right? It doesn't have to be like in my restricted state. It can still be fun. So I just wanted to share some of that information with you guys, um, especially anybody who currently lives that lifestyle that's like a little different than normal, it's not the traditional nine to five, and you're like, I don't even know how to do it because I'm busy, I'm stressed, and I have this crazy lifestyle, how is it even possible? Um, I just wanted to show you that number one, it's super possible, ridiculously possible, and number two, it doesn't involve you restricting yourself to the point where you can't have awesome food with people that you love. Um, all of it's possible, you're limitless, you got this, 
yeah, it's anything is possible for you. So I wanted to remind you of that. Um, number one, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Tell me what is your most pressing question about weight loss? What's the question you most want answered about weight loss? And I'm gonna do my best to answer every single question in the comments below. So ask me, what is your number one question? Type that in the comments below. Number two, um, if there's somebody that you know that this video could benefit, please share that with them. Please hit the share button, um, share this video, and let other people benefit from the goodies and the free tips too. Thanks for bearing with me guys. As you saw in video one, um, one of my biggest things to overcome was the ability to get it right and do it perfectly. Um, and I tried to make this video three times for this. <laughs> and I said, you know what? It's not gonna be how I planned it. It's not gonna be perfect, but I'm gonna deliver this epic information that's gonna change your life to you and help you have a healthier body that you feel really great in and feel really excited about, and that's all that matters. If I can just help one person with this information, whether it's done perfectly or not, then I've done my job, so there you go. All right, well, I love you guys. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in a video really soon. Don't forget to type your number one question about weight loss in the comments below, and I'll answer it for you there. Mwah.